Welcome to part four, the last part of My History, Our Future. Let's begin with peer training. Being a self-advocate is about speaking up for yourself, but it is also about being a leader to other people with disabilities. A great way to be a leader is by teaching your friends how they can be self-advocates too. Teaching your friends how to do things is called peer training. You've learned many important things and skills from this self-advocacy training. Once this program is finished, you can be a leader by sharing the information and teaching the skills that you have learned to your friends. There are many different ways to teach self-advocacy to others. Here are some examples. Talk to your friend about their strengths, things they do well. By talking about your friend's strengths, you can help your friend know themselves better. You'll also boost their self-confidence and make them feel good about themselves. Both self-awareness and self-confidence are important to self-advocacy. Talk to your friend about an important issue in their life, like age, transportation, their job, or their relationships. Listen to what your friend has to say and respect their opinions. Support your friend by giving them suggestions on how they can deal with these issues to improve their life. Remind your friend that their allies can support them as well. Take your friend to a self-advocacy group meeting or an event like Self-Advocacy Summit or Speak Out Festival. In Unit 16, you'll learn how self-advocacy groups work so you know what to expect if you decide to join one. Help your friend to learn about the history of people with disabilities in Alberta. Use your life and institutions, Leilani Muir story, Winifred Stewart and Christine Meikle story, life in the community, and history of self-advocacy in Alberta worksheets to describe different times and people in history. Take your friend to an arts event like an art show, dance performance, or play. In Unit 17, you'll learn about some of the different disability or mixed ability arts groups in Alberta. Now let's try an activity to see how you can help your friends be self-advocates. Let's do the peer training worksheet in your passport. Pause the video now while you work on this activity. Congratulations, you've finished Unit 15 of My History, Our Future. Next up is self-advocacy groups and what to expect.